Hi, I'm Ella. Hi, I'm Lily Sacramento. Hello, my name's Nathan Stokes. My name's Jasmine Blake. My name's Shante Baron Johns. My name's Shanae Shugel. My name's Lynette Barlow. We're all at the well, Elder Secondary College. We are investigating how we might help the wildlife and encourage the uses of Beldiva's community to become a clean and sustainable environment. We'll endeavour to create a local group to meet and pick up litter in our local recreation areas, including parks, schools and beaches. All proceeds from collecting 10 cent bottles will then be donated to wildlife centres. After the DC rubbish in the community. Oh, that'll probably be most of the time, yeah. Nearly always. How does seeing rubbish make you feel? Like angry, hurt, happy, sad? Uh, it makes me feel like it's, um, I suppose, a, a, you know, somebody has decided to, to do that and it's a very strange choice in, in the community that you live in, I think. Why to make Godathis a cleaner and more sustainable environment? Yes, maybe no. Yes. How often do you use public beaches and reserves so on a scale from often to not at all. Often? If a community group falls to clean up the rubbish, would you donate your time to help? Yes, maybe in Um, Yeah, I would. It's the time I had. I'd definitely love to help out the community. The community group then to clean up the rubbish, do you, do you donate your time to help? Yes, maybe, or no? Yes. What will motivate you to recycle more? Um, getting paid. We will endeavour to create a local group to meet and pick up people that are in our local recreation areas, including parks, schools, beach and beaches, and put 10 cent bins in the school. All proceeds from collecting 10 cent bottles will then be donated to local wildlife centres. Thank you for your time. Looking around, this is the rubbish from recess. It's not looking so pleasant at all. So we have a few questions for you guys. So, um, as members of the executive team, we would like to know your thoughts around a community group in the school that will go around with a trailer at recess and lunch and to encourage students to donate bottles and coins to a 10 cent wildlife donation. Students will also pick up the rubbish in a school. Mate, I think that sounds like a great idea for me for three main reasons. One, it builds a sense of community and a sense of, of belonging here at, at Baldiva Secondary College. Um, secondly, it's obviously environmentally friendly. Um, we're taking care of our environment is, is, is really important. And lastly, it builds a sense of pride amongst our, amongst our student group. Um, you know, pride in our grounds is really important as well. And furthermore, the last you meet, we want to be able to have Mugfeet community in Rat group cup outing so we can ferry things this to beach parks and recreation areas. Would you let us do this? Absolutely, Shanice. Um, I'm a really, really big um, fan of um, having our students going out into the community and doing things that benefit the community. So I could see um, this little group of um, so for climate activists um, or sustainability champions going out into the community and really helping to support um, keeping beaches clean, keeping parks clean as well. So absolutely, thanks, great idea. After we started in our local community, we will approach our locals council with the hope they may match our collected donations promote our group or provide a ranger to mentor us. We will approach local shops and ask them to match our donations. We think they will because they can advertise local partnerships and be environmentally conscious. 
Without our initiative, we would be something that we could ambassador to other schools and start the program across multiple communities, making our own little piece of the world's shine.